holy crap that is some low resolution um, I'm just making this quick little video a little late night video for you guys uh, because I was fiddling around with a foil that I own today now for those of you who don't know um, I have recently taken up um, some sport fencing or Olympic style fencing um, in essence because uh, I fell into the category of one of those people who like to shit talk it for a very long time especially when I started Hemmer um, of course as I have grown and matured I now realize that uh, <laughs> I, I know that I know less than I thought I knew so I'm going right back to square one uh, and essentially I'm just going to learn some classical, well not classical fencing, I'm going to learn some Olympic fencing um, hopefully if things line up correctly I might actually have the opportunity to do both classical French and classical uh, Italian fencing um, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so <clears throat> basically uh, I have a foil obviously and I've been fiddling around with it and as you also know, um, I had acquired earlier this year some antique fencing weapons, specifically Italian fencing weapons. Now, this came in the bag, or rather, sorry, this didn't come in that particular lot, but this is very similar. Anyway, here we obviously have a foil blade. Oh my lordy lord, this resolution is terrible. Um, low light. I'll have to keep this in mind for future videos that this laptop just can't do it in low light. Um, as you can see, standard foil. Looks like a standard foil guard until he said until this. I'll jump out of the way. Can you see that? Okay. Now, on first appearance, it looks like a classical Italian foil grip or at least one of them but there is a bit of a difference number one you can see that one in Casio I think it's cool or one loop finger loop um, is larger than the other okay and secondly more importantly I don't know if you can see this but I'll try to show you here we go can you see that how you see the bigger one is offset so it is welded to the side all right meanwhile the smaller one okay is attached as it might be um, on a false ricasso uh, Italian foil okay so what is this what is this particular weapon this particular foil even though this is a modern foil blade that I've attached to it or I've managed to <laughs> by sheer happenstance fit into it um, is an old Spanish foil now I suspect it's an old tourist Spanish foil judging uh, by my research but it's a very very old one indeed it has aluminium guard aluminium pommel a steel um, oh, sorry aluminium finger rings I should say a steel guard and I don't know if you can see Oh, it's not going to show, but you can see how it's a bit blurry. Okay, that is because, as you can see, well, barely, it has um, engraving. Well, sorry, not engraving, it has etching on it. Alright. The grip is black, plastic-like, but if this is, is as old as I think it might be, there is a good chance that this is actually Bakelite. <coughs> Bakelite. Um, or, you know, similar to what vinyl is sometimes made out of. Is vinyl made out of Bakelite? It might not be, but a similar material to that uh, because it's quite light, but I have noticed on another one of these that I have is that it's quite brittle. And the, the padding on the inside there is just from a normal foil. So, why am I bringing this to people's attention? Well, number one, um, there have been a few good videos going around lately about the difference between pistol grips, French grips, Italian grips, uh, rapier grips, uh, how you grip a rapier and stuff like that. And I just wanted to sort of put my P 
piece in for the old Spanish grip. Now, it is important to realize that the Spanish grip comes in various uh, iterations, all right? This Spanish grip is not like the normal Spanish grip that you might see kicking around, or the two normal grips. This is clearly an earlier Italian derivative, all right? But with the philosophy that the Spaniards were obviously using in their fencing at the time, or, you know, th this was inspired by. So how do you use it, okay? Well, that's the interesting thing, and funnily enough, that's one of the reasons why this particular kind of configuration is only used essentially in some classical fencing circles um, or in tourist shops or for theatre. It is banned in uh, competitions, okay, even some classic competitions, for the simple fact that it completely disobeys the rule that you cannot grip a weapon in multiple ways or take various grips of it. Let's look at that more closely. Firstly, <coughs> You can grip this Italian, or sorry, this Spanish grip, all right, in a classic sort of French style, okay? Now, it you can see I put my finger through the small one, okay? I rest it on my joint there, and I can lay my thumb along the top, okay? So, in a classic pinch grip, all right? Let's see if I can keep it in shot, all right? Around and around, I'm just going to take my fingers off, all right? Okay, round and round and round we go. Alright? So you can grip it in the classic French pinch grip. Alright, cool. That's not too bad. That's what a French grip is for. But here's the kicker. <coughs> if I turn it around, okay, suddenly I can grab it in an Italian style grip. Okay? With two fingers through the Encarcio there and that again completely changes it so in this case the finger does not go along the top because as you can see or if I can make again bring your attention to the bar on that point is right in the middle like on an Italian foil the reason I can perform the French grip is because this other bar here is offset okay as you can see See how it's welded to the side there? Okay, it's offset. So what this means is that I can use a French grip and I can use an Italian grip. But guess what? If I so wish, I can do the old double finger one. Okay, now I'm not sure what this is called. Of Someone, I think, called it a Spanish grip. But essentially you hold it pretty much down like that and just kind of move it thusly, okay? And, of course, why it's kind of good for stage stuff, which is primarily what I use it for, is that if I want to have a sort of rapier grip, <laughs> for lack of a better word, with just one finger through it, okay, I just pop my finger through the small one there, okay, and bada bing, bada boom, aha, okay, I can use it like a rapier, not that you would, because it's a foil. And, on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, you can use a German grip. What is a German grip? Well, a German grip, again, you can't, you, you don't see German foils very often anymore. In fact, I don't think you do at all. I don't think anyone uses them. But what a German grip is, is if you can imagine, okay, I'll flip it around. If you can imagine, all right, that this cross beam here, or this bar, is number one, actually not offset. So it's a straight line. Okay. Rather than have these sort of finger loops or in Casio or whatever, the straight bar, even with the false uh, Ricasso, sits up against the guard up here. Okay, so it's flush. Well, not flush, but it sits up against the guard. Okay. What this means is that there is not enough of a gap for you to loop your finger through. Okay, whether it's oopsie days, whether it's whether it's one finger. Okay two fingers that particular way or that particular way all right what it instead means is that you have to use a pinch grip okay or a classic french grip but here's the kicker the german grip because that this bar is all the way up here and there's a bar at all okay slightly different because rather than pinching 
with the sort of last part of your finger here, okay, so closer to the tip, like you would hold a pencil, okay? Rather than doing that, what you would do, and I can't really do it very well on this one, but I'll see if I can show you a bit more clearly. I can't do it on this side, which is the offset side, okay, so I'm just going to try to demonstrate here. You would grip it thusly essentially so you would actually or well, maybe not so far sorry that's a bit excessive but basically if you can imagine this bar is essentially flush up against here okay so there's a bit of a gap inside the bell not enough to put a finger through you end up pinch gripping it like a french foil okay so it's actually held in this manner with the bar going this way rather than vertically okay and you lay your finger across the side of the quillion all right so it's similar to a French grip but with an extended finger basically so it's almost like you're pointing a finger and rather than putting it in your hand like this you're pointing your finger and putting it on like that so it's German grip so all right so we have straight off the bat hence why they were banned because you can have of course Italian one grip okay French two grip all right, <laughs> probably push a German-esque grip if you really wanted. A bit unlikely though. Okay, whoops, it is sort of rapier grip as well. So you have at least four different grips. Now that's a bit of a bummer because, understandably, whilst it was done in the name of fairness, okay, it does mean that a great tool like this, which is which is why I've kept it even though I can't use it if I was to compete in competitions. As a teaching tool or as a tool or a practice weapon, it's fantastic. Because I can do, oh, I want to do a French grip. I'm going to do that. I want to do an Italian grip. I'm going to do that. I want to pretend it's a rapier. <laughs> I'm going to do that, okay? I want to use two fingers in there. I'm going to do that, okay? Or maybe this way, which is more comfortable for me, okay? I want to use my finger a little bit more, okay? You can do that with this grip, which is fantastic. Um, but of course that's why it was banned because it has multiple ways of taking the grip of it now what is another quick side point or a side note namely the legality of an Italian grip okay so which is this sort of style oh, I'm probably not doing it right it's hard to do it whilst I'm looking at the camera to cut a long story short is all the research that I've done indicates that an Italian grip is 100% legal in modern fencing, in modern Olympic fencing, but it's discretionary. What does that mean? Basically, it is not a matter of, is it legal? It's a matter of, can you use it in this way? If you go to a meeting or a meet or a competition or whatever, or a training session, okay, and you start using this in an Italian fashion, okay, and they say, hey, that's illegal, you can't use it, you could you could yell at them until you're blue in the face and say it is legal and provide all the evidence it's 100% legal they'll be proven wrong but if they then say okay it's legal but you're still not going to use it because I choose not to allow it in this competition or this training session then that's it you know there's no way around that basically you can't use it now some people would say that ah well if you're using an Italian grip the reason why it would be banned is number one these little quillions are dangerous they stick out too far and that's a catching hazard which is against the rules on a real Italian foil or Italian style foil these do not stick out they're actually in line with the edge of the bar guard or even a little bit inside because they're usually fixed inwards so that's not really an issue the other point they would say is that oh you know it runs a risk of you know your fingers getting caught because it's in a loop well in that case what's a is it called a martingale or something like that which is a leather loop or a metal hook that is sometimes added to the inside of a guard which basically prevents you from losing control of your weapon essentially dropping it okay you're not allowed to use one of those with this because this does the same thing and then they might say okay all right okay but you can grip it multiple ways so that's why you can't use an Italian grip because I can grab it this way all right but then I could post it <laughs> if I really wanted, which just means gripping it 
further down. So I can now grow to a French grip, granted and not a very mechanically strong one. Okay, and I don't think you can even do this in foil. I think this is actually banned, but you know, whatever. I don't know, I've, I'm, I've only just started, okay? So you can go from here to here in the middle of a competition, all right, and that's why it's banned. Well, of course that would be the case if this was all there was to an Italian grip, okay? There's one more piece that you need in order to use an Italian grip, which is a wrist strap, which is intended, well, partly it's actually a structural thing because it's for strength and so forth, and it's a different style as far as I'm aware, and it has different effects. I'm not good enough to be able to determine or feel what those effects are. But essentially, if I get this belt over here real quick, I'm just gonna use this leather belt, okay? You, uh, whip that up and I'll flop that over my wrist here okay now you would it would actually have a specific one I think the velcro so it comes down like so and it would be strapped he said putting it on the wrong way <laughs> and it would be strapped to your wrist okay Let's see if I can do that even tighter all right just as just just to give you an example, okay? So it basically gets strapped. Oopsie days. Another problem I'm having with this computer is that I have to do everything in one take, um, which is a real pain in the butt. Anyway, you you get the idea, guys. Okay. Essentially, blah blah blah. It comes around. I'm just going to grab that up inside my hand here, just to keep it out of the way. All right. Basically, you strap up your wrist. <laughs> That's super excessive, actually. That looks ridiculous. So essentially, <clears throat> it's a strap that goes around your wrist. This is not an actual one. This is just a belt. Okay, but what that basically means is that if I drop it, well, it's not meant to fall out, essentially. And secondly, of course, is that it changes, he said, is it changes how you subsequently how you subsequently use it okay so that completely changes my ability I can't do these massive um, like I can't do if I was gripping it in a French manner something like that it's not possible to do it so you can only grip an Italian foil one way which is this way so if they try to pull you up and say hey you're not allowed to do that because you can grip it multiple ways no, you can't. You know, you can't pull this out midway through a competition or through a sparring thing, all right? However, if they say, okay, I can see that the guard doesn't stick out, so that's not a problem. Okay, the finger issue is nothing because otherwise no one would be using sort of martingales and wires and things like that. And you can't actually grip it multiple ways because it's actually strapped to your wrist. Um, but I'm just going to make a call and say, no, you can't use it. In which case... You would just nod your head and go, okay, and then go and use a French grip. And one more interesting part about this foil. Uh, it does have a button, and it does have a safe rubber tip. Here we go. So that's just a big door stop. There's a smaller actual fencing tip inside. But for shits and giggles, <laughs> today, I thought I would add a... Uh, I thought I would add a... Um, <laughs> Point, I think it's an arete, a point de arete, okay, yes, that is a screw um, that I have tied to the tip of my foil. Uh, I do not recommend you do that at home, and I have not used this, and I have no intention of using it. Disclaimer, um, I might use a thumbtack or an upholstery tack if I can get one, or I might even indeed use one of the... Uh, one of the proper ones which has like a little three prong thing so it looks like the cornell on the lance okay um but i just thought i'd add that to the end of this to make it quite an interesting little weapon and it does change it you know if someone points that at you all of a sudden it's no longer fun and games it becomes um you know the prospect of getting not killed necessarily but the prospect of getting a uh, basically poked and small little bleeding wounds is very real. Obviously, you should not use a screw 
I do not encourage you to do that. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. It's just what I had lying around um, just to sort of prove it to myself and practice how to wrap a tip on it. So there you go. A point de arete with a modern foil blade on an old Spanish grip. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I will not be doing any more filming at night, especially on this particular camera. Uh, but I just thought this might be interesting to you. So, until next time, I'll see you guys around.